guys, let's start our today's video review. To make bigger and better and high quality airplanes, we need the best of the best. And I'm proudly to announce that we can add the X2 S1 to our machine portfolio, which is an, a closed laser with exchangeable laser heads. Today I'm going to show you the 40 watt edition, but X2 also has the 20 watts and a 2 watt AR laser, which is suitable for engraving on different kinds of metals. The working area is 500 by 320 millimeters and the maximum C height of the stock machine is 42 millimeters and can be worked up to 133 millimeters thick materials with the razor bed upgrade. The motion system uses a stain wheels. You will see other exterior machines and the Z axle is motorized. So it can move up and down according to the thickness of the material. It uses a pin setup to set up the focal length. This is actually familiar with the Beel Touch, as you can see on the 3D printers. The crazy part is that this machine can engrave and cut on a curved objective, creating a mesh. The motorized C axle will move up and down to keep the constant focal length. This machine doesn't have a camera system built in, but it can keep the track of the laser module position in real time. So now you can use the cross, make two corners of the material and the software will draw a rectangular shape of the alignment. Cool. The maximum engraving speed is 600 mm per second or 36,000 mm per minute. This is just crazy fast, which makes it the fast machine available. It's actually pretty close to the speed of a CO2 machine. The machine supports Wi-Fi when it's using Creative Space software that enables all feature. But it can also work with Lightburn, which I'm using also on the other uh, diode lasers. I go for the Creative Space, which is free for download. So the last part of this introduction is that this has a full line of op op optional accessories, including assist air pump, honeycomb bed, rotary roller, the razor baits, and the big feeder, which allows you to work with longer materials up to 10 feet. So to set up the last part of my introduction is about safety. I've been a field service engineer for five years worldwide and safety is very important. Now I have introduced many diode lasers where you have to wear safety goggles, but this machine is not necessarily because it is enclosed and it's it is satisfied, satis I'm so sorry guys, satisfied by the IEC. So this is not bad for a one class laser tool. Papa, yeah, it's all, <laughs> yeah? It also has a five point flame detection built in and it has an emergency stop on the side. And it is an automatically disabled when you decide to open the lid while it's engraving or cutting. So that's being set, let's engrave something or cut something.
Wow guys, look at this. It is all very nice pack. Also the the manual is even in, in, in Dutch. And it's fairly clear, clear and high detailed. So great job, Ixtool. Uh, what they also sent with the package, uh, beside of a toolbox, is also some tools to play with, to laser cut. So let's see what's inside. Wow, look at this. We got a small stone to engrave. So I'm thinking to do an engraving part with our um, F25 on this. We got some clear glass, it seems like. Uh, we got some leather packs, so, oh wow. We can also cut leather and engrave leather. Um, some play wood, so this is really nice. And, oh wow, hmm, I think I'm going to make my own YouTube play button. That would be nice. Okay, so let's engrave something. And let's cut something in out of acryl and make something nice. Let's go. Okay, let's put this stone piece here inside. Actually, it's quite heavy, so you don't need this magnet, which are quite handy. So we will use this with the wood part. So let's position this there. And let's mark it. So let's try VGM aviation. As you can see on the dot, this is actually live, so you know where it is. So when I move this, you see it moving too. So when I reach the other corner, I see my logo is too big. So let's make it a little bit smaller to fit. And let's frame it. So our next step is to calibrate the thickness of the stone. So let's push calibrate. Cool. Amazing. So now it knows uh, where the position is, the focal point. So the next step is framing. So let's see. Um, just push this button. It's pretty well aligned. Let's put a little bit. Let's try it again. Wow. That looks awesome. Okay, let's close the lid. So now we choose framing is complete. And then uh, use stone coaster. So these are the presets, which is already there. This is what we are going to make. And then we press start. Okay. Let's go. Wow. This is really, really fast. Look at this. This is amazing. We just engraved on stone.
Okay guys, so this is how we make our own play button with the X2S1. Wow, it looks really amazing. <laughs> and uh, I've shown you how to engrave in stone. So I'm going to make several videos about the X2S1. Uh, we're going also to make the, the big F35, the B version, the A version, the big size version. And I'm we are really boosting this project because 40 watts gives me more speed. I will save time and we can build more. Guys, the, the links are all in the description. Uh, this video is sponsored by Xtool. So thank you very much uh, Xtool for believing in me and giving me the opportunity to uh, review your wonderful laser. Um, I'm really going to do more. So in the next video, I'm going to dive deeper into the software, which is really nice. And we're going to try out some more materials. But now, <laughs> I'm really happy with this video. Okay guys, see you in the next one.